What's up everyone this is Bhargava welcome to the channel and welcome to today's video which is my 3 day tour guide to Goa If you new here this channel is all about travel and landscapes so consider subscribing if you like such content So first day of the trip will be the journey from Udupi to Goa We can leave early in the day and head straight to Goa which takes around 6 hours and you'll reach Goa by lunch time So 6 hours in the car and then lunch immediately after you will not have any energy left to do any further explorations so why not make a day out of the journey by doing some sightseeing along the way for the first location of the day i would suggest the marwante beach this beach being in the west coast is known mostly for sunsets however sunrise is also interesting because when the sun rises in the east the beach shore where we stand is in the shade but far behind us above the arabian sea the clouds are also rising and these clouds are lit up by the sunrise and are quite a treat to look at So after Marwante it is time for breakfast and I'd recommend the Maribatra hotel. You get idli, vada, dosa and my favorite Mangalore buns. They all taste good. After breakfast the next location I'd recommend is up Sarakonda. This beautiful location has a beach, a small mountain and also a waterfall. So you can spend around an hour or two here. One small or big inconvenience depending on how you look at it is that this location is crowded with pre-wedding photo shoots. There are a number of them at the beach site and also right next to the waterfall. So expect this when you visit the location but don't let it affect your trip because Sarkonda is a beautiful place and despite the crowd I did manage to capture some images and they came out very well After exploring Apsarakonda, I would suggest you to head directly to Goa so that you can have lunch and take some much needed rest. For your accommodation in Goa, I would suggest the many floor guest house. The place is perfectly clean and has fans, air conditioning, Wi-Fi, kitchen and everything you need to make your stay comfortable. For vegetarian food, we found that the Krishna Pure Veg Daba was really good. We tried four other restaurants but they either had chapati or roti but no butter naan. In the evening once you are well rested, you should definitely visit the Kalangut beach which is like a 2 minute walk exactly behind the guest house. Witnessing a sunset here is a fantastic way to end the first day of your trip. Now that you reached Goa, it is time for day 2 of the explorations which is all about the forts of Goa. Before you head out, you should know that the forts open by 9 am and close by 5 pm. So sunrise and sunsets are not possible. We made the mistake of getting up early so you don't have to. The first fort I would suggest is the Fort Aguada. This was built in the 17th century and the lighthouse there is the oldest of its kind in the whole of Asia. Honestly, I did not expect to capture this location in such an amazing light because it was 9.30 and the sun was harsh. But the cloud formation in the background was so good that the fort and the sky complemented each other beautifully. Let me show you the wallpaper I captured for my phone. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> you see the depth effect on the wallpaper where the clock goes behind the lighthouse? That's amazing. <laughs> I captured one more photo with my cousin in the frame to show the scale of the lighthouse. This was a handheld exposure bracketed capture with a total of 3 exposures. Okay, that was a bit too technical so let's put that aside for now and head to the next location. The famous Chapora fort where the Hindi movie Dil Chata Hai was filmed. This is more of a viewpoint than an actual fort but it's still spectacular because how wide open the area is. The Chapora fort would definitely make for a stellar sunset location but it closes at 5 pm. At this point I have to tell you that if you don't want to get cooked like a current tell dosa like we were under the burning sun, I would suggest you carry an umbrella or a hat because once the sun is up in the sky, there is no shade at any of the fort. After Chapora fort you can have lunch, take a nap and by evening head to the Reis Smogas fort. This is a 15th century fort that was remodeled twice and took its final form in 1707. My favorite feature of the fort are the war cannons. And even though the fort closes at 5 pm, it is still an amazing almost sunset location. Now some of you or most of you would like to experience the booze and party side of Goa. For that I recommend you visit the Baga beach at night. I'm a sober guy so I just went there to see what's up with the nightlife. And now it is morning of day 3 of our trip where we explore the churches of Goa. But before that you can check out the Goa ferry which goes from Betim to Panjim over the Mandovi river. This service is free for both locals as well as tourists and saves almost 5 kilometers for those who travel by road. Once in Panjim you can check out the amazing cruise ship casinos of Goa. Our 
Angkor for the third day was to experience the Portuguese architecture in Goa. So we visited Our Lady of Immaculate Conception Church. Entry is not permitted at this church but the exterior architecture is quite beautiful to look at. From here you can head towards Old Goa to visit what is said to be the largest and quite possibly the most beautiful church of Goa, the Sei Cathedral. This is a world heritage site whose architecture is styled with Roman exterior and Greek interior. This is one church in Goa that you should not miss. The interior of the church is fantastically detailed and vivid in color. After the Sei Cathedral visit, you can head to Anjana Beach by evening and witness another beautiful sunset. And that concludes my 3 day tour guide to Goa. I hope you liked it and if you did, leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you felt that the tour guide was a bit short, I have 3 separate videos in which I go in detail about the journey of day 1, the forts of day 2 and the churches of day 3. In those videos, we take each day slow and study. The links are in the description for those videos or you can go to the Goa playlist on my channel. Also check out other videos where we explore Kudlu Tirtha Falls, Kodibengre Beach, Kodagu and lots more locations. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. See you there.